Welcome, everybody. This is Robert D. Alsop with another episode of AIM Artist Spotlight. And we have tonight the talented Mr. Christian Davis. Hey, Christian, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Robert. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Awesome. So, uh, <laughs> we want to listen to some music, ask some questions. What do you think about that? Have a little fun. I'm all about some music, so let's do this. <laughs> So, what is your story, your influences? Tell us about Christian Davis. You know, I started, uh, Robert, back in, honestly, I started back in the church. I mean, it started in the church, and a lot of singers I found started in the church the same way. So, <laughs> um, it, you know, music has always been a big part of my life. You know, it's, it's always been, you know, my family sang, so that kind of got me in, you know, involved more in the music. I was in the band program at school. Um, you know, playing trumpet, you know, I was always doing something when it came to music. So uh, music's always been very, very special and very precious to me. Um, and it's just, man, it's just great for the soul. So it's it's always uh, to, good to be around um, really all forms of music. It's just, a, it's a great art form and, and I enjoy it very much. So what are your roots? Well, uh, again, like I said, my roots go back to the church, really. Um, you know, growing up in a, in a church and uh, singing all the good hymns that we like to sing. And, uh, and then from that point, moved on into, uh, you know, a love for, for country music, a love for uh, bluegrass music, a love for even classical music. I mean, I, I enjoyed the classical style of music. And um, that probably comes from my days of playing trumpet. Uh, in school. So, uh, you know, I love it all. I love all art forms, you know, especially when it comes to music. So, um, that's kind of so originally from Tennessee, uh, originally from Alabama, uh, the great state of Alabama, real tight. So <laughs> <laughs> real tight, but, uh, yeah, originally from Alabama, but we currently live, we make our home, uh, in the Nashville, Tennessee area. So, um, we've enjoyed it here. We've been here for the past 11 or 12 years now. And so it's been, it's been our home and it's been a good place to uh, kind of to, to do this music thing. Uh, it's a good place to leave from every week when we do these tours. Uh, we're, we're weekend warriors, so uh, we're somewhere different every weekend. So it's, it's, uh, we love Nashville and uh, it's a, we've got great friends here and it's a, it's a good place to be in the music business. So. Cool. Cool. So how did you get your, your start in professional music? That's an interesting story. I actually started <clears throat> right out of high school. Uh, I went to Liberty University up in Lynchburg, Virginia, which if you know anything about Liberty, uh, a man by the name of Dr. Jerry Falwell started uh, Liberty University. And I was actually contacted by him one day. Didn't really know him at all. I just kind of knew I'd seen him in the news before. He, he was very uh, uh, politically outspoken, if you will. Um, so, but he, he had called me one day and kind of told me who he was, what he was looking for. And he was looking for somebody to be a part of a recruiting group, uh, a recruiting music group for Liberty University. So, um, he told me all about it and they were looking for, it was kind of like, like a coral, like a corral, almost uh, a coral group, um, of about seven or eight people. And they were looking for somebody to sing the low part, you know, so my voice is kind of low. So um, he had heard about me through several people within the music industry. And so um, he basically said, why don't you come up here and check out the school, see what we got going on. And it, it wasn't too much long after that, that he offered me a, a full scholarship, to, wow. a full music scholarship to Liberty University. And um, that's really where I got my professional start um, because I actually, uh, sang in a, in a quartet that was formed um, after talking, after speaking with Dr. Falwell uh, a little while. Uh, after the, cor the choral group, um, we started the Old Time Gospel Hour, which is his program, Old Time Gospel Hour Quartet. So um, we started touring with him. We would go, when he would go speak at these big events, you know, political events or, or church events or religious events, whatever they were. Uh, we would we would go with him. We'd get on an airplane and go with him, and um, that's kind of how my professional professional music start got started. And so I, I owe Dr. Falwell everything, really. Um, as far oh, as wow, wow, getting it started. So 
cool. Yeah. So we have one of your videos called Simple Things. You mind if we play that? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's play Simple Things. I've got an old coffee mug that my granddad used to own. I'm sipping it slow on the porch and it's good to be home. Watching the sun come up and a dove on the wing. Thinking while I listen to the mockingbird sing that I sure do love the simple things. The best things in life. Don't plug in A sky full of stars Or a hand in the wind A long kiss A good old memory Keeping you grounded And making you whole Reminding you you've got a soul As long as i got a full belly And a song to sing I'll be thanking God For the simple thing Skillet, I can smell it starting to fry. The hair pulled back in a ponytail out of your eyes. Saying good morning, I love you. How did you sleep? Might as well be poetry. I feel it so deep, and you sure do know how to do those simple things. The best things in life, you don't put in. Sky full of stars or a hand in the wind A long kiss, a good old memory Keeping you grounded and making you whole Reminding you you've got a soul Long as I've got a full belly and a song to sing I'll be thanking God for the simple thing Simple man, live till I die, honey, that's the plan. Long as I've got a full belly and a song to sing, I'll be thanking God for the simple things. That dog looked familiar. That's y'all's dog, isn't it? Our dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's a <laughs> That's a nice song. That's a great song. That's always a fun song to do. Look like you were missing miss a little bit of facial fuzz in that video. Yeah, a little bit, but it's, it's <laughs> changing nowadays. But uh, I mean, the color a little bit's changing, but that's all right, you know. <laughs> So what kind of music do you listen to? You know, you know, like I said, I grew up on, on gospel music, but uh, I, I listen to gospel every once in a while. But uh, I, I really enjoy, I love country music. I like the, you know, the, the styles of people like, uh, you know, Randy Travis, um, uh, those guys that kind of set the pace for me. And so I, I, I listen to, to uh, the old school country. Some people might call it old school country. Um, I even listen to classical music, Blair. Uh, I love classical simply because it puts me in, uh, it kind of frees my mind a little bit. 
to, uh, you know, think of some different ideas uh, in the current music style that I'm doing. It just kind of gets all the, the jumbled stuff that sometimes that, that clouds our minds. It just helps me relax, helps me uh, just think of some different different patterns in your, in your brain. So, uh, Let you focus. Yeah, just a, a, a different kind of focus. But I really enjoy classical music and, um, you know, just kind of, it, it just does it for me. So, um, yeah, Ooh, country, cool. classical, gospel, uh, even 80s music. I'm a big 80s fan, too. So anything 80s is you're going to get me smiling. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what is your main reason to write and perform music? What is your why? My why is simply just to tell a story, tell, tell your, uh, your life story. Um, we all go through, um, the different things in our lives and whether they're good, whether they're, some are bad, some are good. Um, some things you want to remember, some things you don't want to remember. And there's all, there's no better way to do that, Robert, than, than writing a song or, or singing a song that, that the people that you're singing to can relate to, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're reminding them about a childhood memory or something that they, you know, grew up with or something like that, it always makes them smile. Sometimes it, it might bring a tear to somebody's eye too. So, but our job is to, um, to help them see that, man, it's okay to, to be yourself. It's okay to, uh, to, to remember those good times. And it's okay to even remember some of the bad things because, uh, a lot of, most of the time it makes us a better person. And so, um, simply through music, uh, it just takes it to another level of, um, you know, communicating to, to folks that, man, uh, life can be really good for you. Um, you know, just so uh, you're sort of a musical therapist. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's we, really, that's what it is. We, our job, uh, you know, a lot of people don't see the, the behind the scenes stuff. Um, they only see the you know, the hour and a half or the, or the two hours that you're on stage, that's all they see. But our job is to go in there and, and those people that have had a, you know, a bad day or a rotten day or a frustrating day, our job is to go in there and take their worries away for a couple of hours of their day and to say, you know what, just chill out, just relax. Everything's going to be okay. Tomorrow's a new day. And, uh, but until then let's play some music, you know? So that's speaking cool. of let's play some music. I see you have your guitar there. Yes. You might give us a little give, a, give us a little taste. Yeah, you bet. What you gonna play for us? I'm gonna play a song called uh, While I Was Away. And I'm gonna send this song out to all of the uh, all the dads and all the pawpaws out there that that might have traveled a lot, maybe for work related purposes. If you've got young kids at home, um, it's hard to leave those babies when you when you gotta go leave the road, you know, go on the road. So um, whether you're a truck driver or whether, whatever you do for work that, that makes you be away from home for a little while, well, this song goes out to y'all. So Thank you. It's called While I Was Away. Cause I'm hard. 
hardest part about working hard ain't no bills I've got to pay. It's you growing up while I was away. And I found your note in the kitchen. It's a real work of art. Stick man holding your stick hand with daddy written in a bar. And it got me good cause I understood just what you meant to say. You've been missing me too while I was away. And for every dollar I The hardest part about working hard ain't the bills I've got to pay. It's you growing up while I was away. You know the hardest part about working hard ain't the bills I've got to pay. It's everything I miss. Well, I was away. Yeah. Wow, that was a beautiful, beautiful song. That's such a great song. <laughs> great song. Great song. Is that one of your originals? It's um, it was actually written by a friend of mine out in Texas. Um, it's an original. Uh, his name is Mr. Zane Williams, and what a great, great songwriter! I love Zane's work, and um, I actually I, I love that song because it you know I've got a I've got a daughter too, and we've got a thirteen year old, and she started eighth grade this year. My goodness, time is flying by. And, and, I know. I've I've got one in the eighth grade too. Yeah, and so it, it, uh, I always tell people when I sing that song that, you know, I, I love to, to dedicate it to my daughter because, you know, us as musicians and singers, it's always hard when we leave every weekend, when we leave our homes, and when you've got that young child tugging at your at your clothes saying, Daddy, don't go, it makes it hard. And and so there's a lot of other a lot of other men out there that understand what I'm talking about. And, <laughs> and so that song is very special to me uh, when it comes to that. Wow. So what has been the, the best, most rewarding, most interesting experience you've had while you've been performing? Wow. Uh, gosh, I've, I've, I've been, you know, Robert, I've been very blessed um, to be a part of some great musical groups. Um, you know, going all the way back to start, starting at Liberty University, then going into uh, to bluegrass music. I was with a bluegrass group called Daily and Vincent, if you're a bluegrass fan. Um, I was with them for almost six years. And so, uh, it's those experiences that you, uh, you get to meet a lot of folks, uh, a lot of great folks, uh, a lot of great influential folks in the music industry. Um, we get to play some of the biggest stages, uh, all across this country. And I mean, I've been really blessed to play some places, um, like Carnegie Hall in, in New York and, uh, the Lincoln Center and, and the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., um, even going overseas to play for some country music tours and playing for uh, a U.S. ambassador uh, to another country there. And, and so, um, you know, I've, I've had some great experiences. Um, just been very blessed. I mean, I don't really know how else to say it, but I've just been very blessed to, to be a part of, of that and learning so much, man. When, 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 you're, when you're in this business, as you know, uh, uh, Robert, um, you learn every day. You learn something new every day. Um, whether you're around somebody new or whether you're in a different situation that you're not accustomed to being in. But, um, and it, it's just a big learning experience for us all uh, every day. So, um, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just very proud of, of the places that I've been to. And I don't get to share about it a lot uh, with folks, but when people do ask me, I do tell them. So, uh, you know, some of us musicians, we don't really like to gloat a whole lot, you know, but 
But when we are asked those specific questions, we do say, hey, man, I've, we've been blessed to be at some of these places or be around these people or, or whoever. So it's been a great thing. man. I, I can't complain a whole lot. You know, um, it's been you know, kind of weird the past year and a half or so, as you know, uh, because we've kind of been shut down a little bit. But uh, things are progressing a little bit and we're excited to see what the future holds and uh, we're just rocking and rolling. So who would you say is the biggest legend that you were ever actually able to be on stage with? Oh, wow. That's a broad question. Um, we've been on stage. Um, people like Chris Christopherson, um, Marty Stewart, um, G.D. Seeley at the Grand Ole Opry, um, you know, Merle Haggard before he passed away, um, you know, being skilled, people like that, that I really just, just absolutely adore these people. Um, not only are they just wonderful singers, wonderful people, but man, the, the knowledge that you get out of these folks is just, is priceless. And, and it, it, you, you try to take in as much as you can when you're, a, when you're a singer and a musician. Um, because like I said, we, you, you learn something new every day. So when you are around folks like this, um, you just, you just sop it up. It's like we say in the South, you sop, you get that biscuit and you sop that gravy. With it. <laughs> but so you're just sopping up all that knowledge. And, and so, uh, yeah, man, it, it, it's, it's been fun. It really has. Um, wow. Any so, past new music projects in the works that you like everybody to know about? Yes, we are. We are working on a brand new album. We're putting the last finishing touches on on this album. It's, it's going to be a little different than something that I've ever done before. My last project that I did uh, called The Big Picture that you will find uh, here. We'll talk about that just in just a minute. But um, uh, is a bluegrass album. But the one that we are currently getting ready to release, uh, we're calling it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more roots, a little bit more Americana. Uh, it's it's got some country country tunes on there. It's got some Americana feel. Uh, it's got some acoustic feel. Uh, it's got a little bit of, of something different than than what I'm accustomed to doing. So, uh, but it's going to be fun, man. It, it, I, we are really really excited about these new tunes, and I can't wait to get this product out for everybody. Wow, Looking we got forward. another one of your videos. Hands of a Working Man. You think yes. we can play that? Yes, this song is going to be on that new album. So we look. Oh wow! Let's play Hands of a Working Man. Yeah, what we have 
again. Beauty town, they can tear it on down. They got the know how if you got the money. It's your heart as a hammer if you pick a fight. But they'd rather hold a pretty girl tight than nice. Little rough and dirty, strong and sturdy hands. Come on, you man. Cool video. Very cool. So we come to that point in the evening to where we need to find out where we can find Christian Davis, where we can find his music, where we can find him live, where we can find him online. Where can we find Christian Davis? Just simply go into the World Wide Web. That's ChristianDavis.com. Or you can check us out on Facebook. That's Christian Davis Music. We're also on Instagram, official underscore Christian Davis. And you can also find us on TikTok uh, at the at symbol, uh, Christian Davis Music. So uh, you can find us at those locations and uh, you can buy product. You can see where we're going to be on tour and uh, see all the information that we've got coming up. So uh, check us out, check our music out, buy our product. And uh, that helps keep us on the road, y'all. So uh, by y'all doing that, that helps us out a lot. So uh, come support us, all right? Oh, wow. Well, you have been a wonderful, wonderful guest tonight. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being on here. Honored to be here, Robert. Well, as all good things that must come to an end, it's been Robert D. Alsup with AIM Country Music Television, AIM Artist Spotlight. See you next week. See ya.